All right, I'm finally gonna show you the boat. I wanted to show it in better conditions, but it's just, it's taken forever and I haven't made a video in a few weeks. And you're gonna see the boat tons more when it's in the water, when it's sunny out. So I'm just gonna show you it uh, now and uh, show you a few of the features. And uh, yeah, I just came come off the water and yeah. So here here's the boat all done as pretty much as good as it's gonna get for now. So it does have some rash, the, the gel coat, you know, was in really rough shape. And I don't know how well you can you can see it now, but it's like I can see you can see your reflection um, in it now. So I really fixed the gel coat, but there still is some scratches. Um, you know, it isn't in rough shape, but it, it's just cosmetic. It's not hurting. You know, the way the the boat works or anything like that. And and I'm super super happy with it. Still, I'm not I'm not too concerned. Um, so it does have a Mariner, uh, 1996 Mariner Magnum, uh, 150, uh, 2.5 liter, and it is uh, fuel injected. It does have a uh, Mercury Tempest Plus uh, 23 pitch, three blade prop on it. It's in good shape. No issues. It does have a manual jack plate on it as well just bring you around the other side of the boat and see there is some you know some marks and you know it is what it is the, the boat is a, a 1994 actually it might be a 95 but anyways we won't get into it it's an Astro 18 DCX so it's actually a uh, 18 and a half foot uh, boat and then the one the one windshield on the other side here um, is broke so I do have a couple more windshields on order. I probably won't have them until the summer sometime. So yeah, there's lots of storage for an 18 foot boat. Like for being such a small boat, there's all kinds of storage. Um, you know, I got, you know, my rods in there. I mean, I could probably, I bet you, I'm not even kidding. I could easily fit 20, 25 rods just in there. On the other side, it's the same. I just use that for life jackets and, and things like that. There's, a box in the middle there. I just put my anchor and some rope and things like that. There's a spot there for a pedestal to put a seat. I just took it off. And then this one here opens up and there is a tray, you know, to put some, some lures on and it comes out and then there's more storage there. And the storage goes all the way like up up there you can see some, I don't know if you can see that. Some of my rods go there, but. Um, and then. There's my, it's all messy right now because I was just out fishing, but there's lots of storage for, for your baits. Those are 3,700 boxes there. So there's all kinds of, all kinds of space there. Right here is a cooler. I was using that today. Glove box. This is on the uh, the passenger, so it is a dual console, which which is what I wanted. I, I don't know if I'll want a dual console forever, but for now, that's what I wanted. So there's a glove box there. Tons of space in there. It goes all the way, you know, back here. Um, there's another cooler in there, and there's a drain. That's the other thing. Every single compartment pretty much has a drain. So there's a drain on the bottom there. I don't know if you can see that, but it drains out to uh, 
you know, the ports on the side of the boat. You can see there's a port there. Um, there's another one. There's another one back there. Um, and each compartment has a has a spot to to drain to. So if it gets wet, there's a channel there, and it goes all the way to the drain there. So they all they all have that, and I think that's just fantastic. It's cool. So it has a uh, Minn Kota Altrex. 112 pound th sorry the camera died here and we're, we're about a week later this has iPilot and uh, Bluetooth um, and it has a GPS system so the iPilot basically has a spot lock you can just hit this button right here and it'll it'll GPS lock the, the boat right on that location so this trolling motor will automatically keep me right on that spot in the water. It's so handy. And it also comes with a remote right there. So I can I can control this from the remote as well. Or my co-angler or whoever is with me can do it. It's really handy because it has the spot lock on it right there. So they can have it. And if I catch a fish or whatever or, and I'm not right, you know, near the, the pedal, uh, they can do it for me. Uh, and you can also download an app on your phone and you can get um, you can control it from your phone as well which is really handy yeah the trolling motor um, actually has some cool features that were added on to it um, it does have the ninja blade and it actually has two of them there's one on the other side normally you just put on one uh, what that does is it just it cuts the weeds so if weeds get tangled up um, in this it'll it'll cut them and you can just go through lots of weeds and it also has a weedless wedge to prop on it you know it's in a little bit rough shape but it works works really well i haven't taken it through any crazy weeds yet but you know along with the 112 thrust the weed wedge too and the ninja blades this thing's going through any weeds i'm pretty sure <laughs> so i don't think there's going to be any issues there now also It does have a recessed uh, trolling motor pedal. So that's really handy. So the pedal's not up like super high on your carpet. It's nice and low. So you don't really have to lift your foot. You just kind of put it in there and away you go. So this is, this trolling motor, it's electric and manual. So it's got like the old style, but the, it's electric. So it makes it a lot easier for you. Um, I won't get into too much about the Altrex, but the Altrex is just fantastic. All kinds of features. It has the cool foot pad that's on it. I ordered a new one because this one's kind of dirty. Basically what this cool foot pad here does is it helps you grip. So if you get your shoes or sandals, it doesn't slip on the plastic. And it also stays cool. So if you have bare feet, it's not going to be like this black plastic that's super hot. Um, it's going to keep your foot cool. So yeah, it's really, really, it works so well. I've been, I've been using that a lot. Um, while we're up here, oh, and since my uh, my camera died, I hooked up my fish finders and this this pedestal here. So I love this pedestal. You just lean up against it like that, and you can troll all day. Um, anyways, while we're up here, um, there is I do have some control of the boat, so I can control both my aerators from here. I can control some of my lights and I can trim my engine from here. That engine trim button from the front, I use a lot. Sometimes I'll get to a location that's really shallow and I forgot to trim it up and uh, I can just trim it up from there so I don't hit any rocks or any debris or whatever would be in the water. It does have a courtesy light here as well. So if I'm, if it's starting to get dark, I can turn that light on. That there's just where the trolling motor plugs in. I just unplug it. Um, yeah, it also has, um, uh, this handle here uh, from TH Marine, it's it's fantastic. It works really good. Lots to grip onto, and it's a lot better than the um, the original one that comes with it. So up front here, oh, and that's the uh, the GPS system for the Minn Kota up there. So for when it spot locks. All right. So up here I have a Humminbird 859 HD. 
This one's the extreme depth. I wish it was the down imaging one, but it just has the 2D sonar, which works fine. I'm still learning how to use these. But yeah, it's a, I believe it's a seven inch screen and it's nice and bright. You can really see it. I also have these to hold my rods. So these are uh, boat buckles. They're really good quality. So basically my rods are up here. I just set them here and I put this like that and it holds them in and it works really well. You can drive with them on, like trailer it. Um, I don't do that, but when I'm out on the water, I went through some crazy waves really fast and have my rods in here and they, they don't go anywhere. So I have one on each side. Um, so I think that's everything for the front of the boat. Oh, I'm gonna save the cockpit for last. <laughs> so in here, This is where all my trolling motor batteries are, and it is a 36 volt system, so I do have three uh, batteries. And then there is my Minn Kota onboard charger there. Now what I'm thinking about doing is building some kind of removable shelves in here. So my co-angler comes or whatever, just so they can put a few things in there and then I can just you know, pull it out easily if I need anything. But that's a project for down the road and we'll see if I can do it. On this side here is my uh, cranking battery, massive cranking battery. My, uh, my oil uh, tank, it is a two stroke and just a bucket with a spare prop and some tools and everything. I do have a spare gas here, nothing in it right now. Some spare fuses. Yeah, and probably on this side, I'll, I might build something here just to put, uh, you know, so we can put, you know, at least a few trays or whatever on there, whoever's uh, fishing with me. All right, so on to the, oh, it does have two fuel tanks. Tank one and tank two, they're both 22 gallon, or might be 22 and a half gallon, I'm not sure, but it's a tournament ready. There's my fish finder there. So it's a little nicer fish finder up here. It's a Humminbird 998C HD GPS and it does have side imaging as well. This one's an eight inch, I believe. It's definitely bigger, eight or nine. I think it's an eight. Yeah, I think it's an eight inch. Yeah, so up here, back in the day, this actually came with a depth sounder and it works. It's cool. I don't really use it that much because obviously my fish finders uh, have the depth, but it's really cool. So if something happened with the fish finders or whatever, I can still uh, see the depth. My speedometer, which is unhooked, I just use the uh, speed on the fish finders because they're definitely more accurate than these uh, speedometers here in the boats. My engine water pressure, which works. My RPMs. Temperature. Trim, which I love. I love that it has a uh, trim gauge because I can see exactly where my trim is and I don't have to look back like obviously you get to know your engine off by heart But it's just really nice to know exactly where it is my fuel gauge And my voltage now here. I have my master power switch my bilge My aerators Both of them there. There's my ignition there and you if you need to choke it you choke it from there, too this sonar, I don't, I, I don't know if this does anything. I gotta figure that out, to be honest. Um, it does have a gauge. So the fuel tanks, there's the fuel tank gauge here. I can select between fuel tank one and fuel tank two. It has uh, uh, light switches, so courtesy lights, accessory lights, navigation lights. So these are all my light buttons. I installed this USB over here, and that's from TH Marine. Um, it lights up. I don't know if you can even see it. It lights up blue when it's turned on. There was actually a big hole here and you can see some of the uh, screw holes from the, I don't know, one of the previous owners. Um, so I decided, well, you know what? I'm gonna plug that up and I just filled that up with some, some wood filler. I, I might fill it up a little bit more, but I wanted a USB and there's also a 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter adapter un underneath the dash here as well that I found and I did install a trim switch here. So because it does have a hot foot 
which I just love. The hot foot's a little sticky. I got to figure it out. I don't know if it's the spring, if it needs to be oiled, greased, whatever, but not a huge deal. I'll get that straightened out. So that's why I installed the trim switch there so I can keep both hands on the steering wheel and I don't have to trim it from here. Now this trim still does work here, but I don't, uh, I really don't use it that much. So there's my fuses. Live well uh, controllers there to fill it to put it on recycle or to empty them, and they all, they all work good. Oh, and right here is my fuel gauge selector. It's kind of in a really awkward spot. There's my two seats there, and it's right here. I don't know if I can move it someday, but I do hit it and stuff. But, anyways, it is what it is. Um, there's two cup holders here and a spot for somebody to sit. I do have a pad for that. And there's a lot of space in between uh, the two people. I mean, you know, if I really wanted to, I could probably fit four people there. And there's there's another seat right there where somebody could sit. Um, so I could have a lot of people in this boat. I really like it because it does have the padding on the side here. So the passenger is a lot more comfortable. They can rest their arm here. Um, it does have the handle there. And on my side, it has that as well. There's the... Uh, the hummingbird because both both my fish finders have gps and they're both networked so if i if i mark a spot on this one it marks it on that one and vice versa sorry i got a there's a wasp trying to get me here just want to quickly show you the trailer it's a it's a nice trailer it needs a little bit of work on the one side but uh just this this little scuff pad here is missing on the other side not a big deal but it is a surge brake trailer it's it's pretty heavy duty actually and i love it because it has all these really nice side steps you can actually uh step step right on the on the fender there and uh it's okay you won't hurt it and it's got another step there yeah so it is it is a surge brake trailer which is which is really handy um and it, it works really well it's really clunky sounding but i guess that's how they are um it's got a pretty new uh winch on it uh, it's a Reese brand. Um, this is this is pretty old. I may have to replace that someday, but it works. Yeah, all the lights. Actually, one one of those lights is there, but it's got side marker lights on the side. And uh, I love I love these because it helps kind of guide the boat. So when I when I put it in the water, I have these kind of sticking out of the water still, so it it kind of stays in. And. Uh, yeah, it's got these bolt buckle straps here, which are handy. They just stay on and I just love these. the video cut out hopefully uh both both clips that i stitched together uh, look okay but that's the boat and you know i'm sure lots of things are going to change with it i know it has older fish finders but you know what you know i have to learn them i don't really know them that well and the new fish finders they're probably even easier to use so i think it's cool that i'm using you know some of the older ones the older technology and learning all the settings because you know the newer stuff it's just so automated and, and, and easy to use so you know down the road i'll certainly uh, whether I upgrade my boat or upgrade my electronics, I don't know, but this is this is fantastic for me. It's a good start. Yeah, older boat, older engine, but it, it works really well. I'm, I'm really happy to show you guys, and this is the, the boat that I'm going to be fishing for for probably the next few years, unless, you know, a deal comes along that I can't refuse. But yeah, I hope you like it, and uh, guys, do me a favor, please like and subscribe to my channel i really appreciate it i'm gonna have lots more stuff uh for you i got lots of stuff um already filmed that i have to edit so sorry there's been a big delay in in videos but it, it is what it is I'm, I'm i'm learning this youtube thing and and i appreciate you guys coming along with me for this journey all right guys take care